Welcome to our video series on Banner Web Registration. Um, today we're going to look at the four smaller areas within Banner 9 Web Registration. The first we're going to take a look at is the Prepare for Registration area, which tells us if we're ready to register. Um, you'll notice that it is a password protected site, which will require you to log in with your network, username and password, which you utilize also for your email. Once you get logged in, you pick the term. In this case, we're looking at fall 2018. Once on the page, you know, also on the right-hand side, it has a primary curriculum listed. This curriculum shows um, what our major and minor are. So if that information is incorrect, I recommend that you contact the registrar's office to update that. On the left-hand side, you'll notice it shows our registration status and if we're ready to go. Um, green means that things are good to go. Red means that there's some issues to resolve. In this case, I've got four holds. The first is an academic hold for acceptance to major. I also have a missing health form, a missing high school transcript, and it says I haven't made a payment, uh, which is any financial related holds, you need to contact your appropriate student accounts office to speak with someone there regarding that hold. Also at the bottom of the page, there's some information on earned hours. Earned hours are for completed coursework only. So this will be a little bit misleading because we don't utilize that information in determining registration dates and times. Um, when we're looking at the hours to calculate that, we use both earned and it's currently attempted hours in that calculation. Um, it also shows class standing here. Um, we don't use class standing in determining dates and times. We utilize cohort, which is based on um, when a person entered our institutions along with when their high school graduation date was. This web registration also utilizes what, um, breadcrumb navigation. So if you need to go back to a menu, you can use the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen to navigate back. In this case, we're now going to take a look at the view registration information area. Um, this tab is also password protected. So if you're not logged in, you'll have to be asked to log in here. Um, and this tab just shows a nice, very nice visual way a class schedule for any particular term and you can pick different terms. In this case, I don't have a schedule for spring 18. Uh, there is also a tab for active registrations which gives you a different view um, of the information. All right, continuing on, we're gonna now browse the course catalog and look at some course information. We're going to look for an accounting 111 course in this case. Um, it brings up the accounting course. You'll notice that um, on the left-hand side here, if you click on the title, if you need, it'll give you some much more detailed information regarding your course. Um, in this case, um, you can look for a description or if there's fees, um, it'll give you um, more detailed information regarding the course. But uh, we'll note this is a little misleading that when you're looking for registration, typically you're not just looking for a course, you're often looking for the section information. Um, there's a button on the right hand side to access the class schedule, but I also wanted to take you back through the navigation menu to show you how to access a class schedule via this browse classes area. Again, we're going to look for our accounting 111 course. In this class schedule area, it will show much more information regarding the specific sections that are available, how many seats are available, dates and times, as well as faculty members teaching it. Um, if you click on the course title again, in this area, it will give you more detailed information um, about your particular section um, in terms of prerequisite, co-requisites, all of the appropriate information. Thank you for joining us in this initial video. We will continue on um, as we explore the other areas, which will include the plan ahead area and register for classes.